Hey everybody, Tanner here for premiumbeat.com and today we're gonna look at how to easily stabilize your footage within Final Cut 10. Let's jump right in. So first off, what we have here is we have this kind of almost like gimbal-like push-in. And so one thing I want to note too is that when you're working to stabilize footage, you always want the most stable footage to begin with from the beginning. So today what I did is I had a Canon C500 Mark II with its digital image stabilization feature engaged as well with the lens with image stabilization. So usually when you're doing this and you're trying to get these types of shots, usually you want to be on a gimbal. That's the perfect world scenario or be working with a camera that does have some sort of stabilization built into it. Um, ultimately, that'll just make the stabilizer's job easier and yield you better results in the end. So our first clip here, as you can see, you know, it's, it's a decent start, but it does have some you know, like glitches around. It does have like a few little bumps and just needs a little bit of work to give it the best possibility of being a nice stable clip as possible. So first off, we wanna select our clip, come over here to the inspector panel, click our stabilization, and use, as you can see here, Final Cut 10 is gonna start analyzing for dominant motion. So what it's doing right here is it's just analyzing the clip, seeing where the motion is, then it's going to give us a recommendation upon which type of stabilization technique to use. So we can see that's done over here. And if we click on method, we can see that it chose automatic. Now, once we click on these methods, we see that there's three choices, automatic, inertia cam, and smooth cam. So even though we have three choices, one thing to note is there are only two stabilizers within Final Cut 10. There's only inertia cam and smooth cam. What automatic does is it chooses which of these two, inertia or smooth cam, is gonna do the best for your type of footage. So if we click on inertia cam, we see it's the exact same set of features that automatic chose. Smooth cam, we'll need to analyze for dominant motion a little bit more because it just analyzes the footage differently than what inertia cam would. Inertia cam is really optimized for footage that has pans, zooms, and tilts within it. So if we go through these features here, once that loads is smooth can is going to give us our translation, our rotation and our scale. So essentially what that is, is that it is our X, Y and Z values of our footage. And so it really kind of works within 3D space to stabilize our footage. So if we come in here to inertia cam and we're just going to see what it defaults it's at. All right, so we can see here, it smoothed out our footage, but we still kind of have a little bit of like a dance and wave through here. And I think we can do a little bit better than that. So usually what I like to do is I like to crank it up to its next value here, let's say two. And let's see where that gets us. And that's pretty close. So one thing to note about like stabilization features within Final Cut 10, and within any NLE is it's a lot of trial and error. And the footage you're bringing in is very organic with its motion, with its movement. And you just have to do a lot of trial and error to find the perfect scenario. So you can see, maybe we should crank it up to three and see what that's gonna give us. Now three is actually looking pretty awesome there. And one thing, once you kind of feel that you have your footage in a good spot. I always like to look at the lines here and just make sure there's no weird artifacts because that's the first thing that's gonna give away any sort of stabilization technique that you're using is the lines right through here. You just wanna make sure there's no warping, there's no funny business going on essentially. And we're looking pretty good there. So I think at three on the inertia cam, we're looking pretty dang good and we can move on. And just like that, you're easily able to smooth and stabilize your footage in Final Cut 10, giving yourself a more cinematic shot. So be sure to like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll catch you guys next time.